Yeah, back there. Uh, yeah, this morning one of the speakers told us that you endorsed LBJ for president in 64. No, I hadn't endorsed them. I know. Yeah. I just thought it was true. In so <laughs> What's that? I just want to know if that was true or not. And so no, no, I hadn't endorsed them. I'm gonna, no, no, I was a question of who do you cheer for? I mean, I'm a big political buff, and so I, I want to know when election night comes, who am I in favor of, who am I against? In that sense, I was in favor of, of Johnson uh, over Gold War. I think uh, just purely on the war question. And it's true for then we have Vietnam. The other hand, see, the problem was I knew a lot of the Gold War advisors, and I thought they were totally crazy. I mean, they, wanted to, <laughs> they wanted to nuke Russia. I mean, I figured, you know, Johnson was better than that. So, yeah, you know, it's, it's a question of, uh, I mean, lesser of the two evils hardly sums it up. <laughs> but anyway, no, I was, uh, I was that, that was, I think foreign policy was the key question. There was not much difference than any other key issue. Yeah. Uh, Ron, the speaker did that, and uh, I uh, I believe your letter to Innovator in uh, like September of '64, yeah, to, to Kara Leach, Innovator. Yeah. You said that you said that you were going to vote for oh, yeah. Johnson, and that you thought all libertarians should yeah. vote for Johnson. Yeah. That's not an endorsement. What is well, it? I mean, it wasn't a positive endorsement. It was a, it was a contrast. Yeah. And you did explain it was entirely yeah. a foreign a, policy matter. That's it. You know, well, you could, a contrast, you could have a little attack at Goldwater. Yeah, the contrast to Goldwater. Yeah. It's funny, my, my, big, my, 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 funny, my big political act in that year, 64, I realized that many libertarians here were, were started as libertarians in the Goldwater camp, in favor of Goldwater. We have to realize the older generation. I left the Republican Party when Taft was robbed of the nomination in 52. Say. But at any rate, the, uh, uh, what I spoke before a group of Libertarian Georgists, these were old Chodorovians. These were guys that were followers of Chodorov. I think at that time was either dead or incapacitated. And these are guys who were Chodorovian anarchists. They had never voted on principle. They were sort of like uh, Lafavians in that sense. They never had never voted forever at any election. They thought it was all evil. And I, was, I was taking the anti Goldwater position. I wouldn't say pro Johnson, but I'd say anti Goldwater position. Yeah. And, um, and they started shaking their canes at me and saying that, by cracky, I haven't voted in 50 years. I'm going to go out and vote for Barry Goldwater after hearing this. It was not very effective. <laughs> Stump speech. So, um, no, it's true. I thought he was, I thought he was bombing on the war question. That was, that was the issue that I thought was the key. Because if you have nuclear war, and all, all the other problems sort of fade away. <laughs> fade away. Price control, all that sort of disappears as a problem. Well, <laughs> right. Yeah.